My forehead is ridiculously shiny, man. It's like a s spot here. Oh. <laughs> Me too. Me is too. Your forehead also. I I. I always use yeah, like trying... type of powder. Oh, we are actually recording this. <laughs> Blue person. <laughs> Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashtips and welcome back to my channel. Today we've got Marco and Shivam here. Everyone knows Marco. He's a magnificent dev. Shivam as well. And I'm very proud to sit you on this panel tonight. And we're going to be discussing the library of the week. Now, guys, welcome to the channel. Thank Hi, you Daniel. for having us here. Awesome. So basically, we want to try and start these videos of showcasing a free library that developers can make use of in their daily lives. Now, uh, Shivam, you showed us a library before called Impress.js. Do you care to tell us more about this library and what it can be used for? Yes, sure, Daniel. So Impress.js is a presentation framework that's actually written in HTML and CSS. So if you really know HTML and CSS, you can create amazing presentation slides and even a complete website using this library. So as you can see, the animations are pretty cool. So Marco, what do you think? What could you create with a presentation framework library like this? Yeah, man. So first of all, I never heard of this library. I really like the way it looks, the, the animations and all this stuff looks amazing. I'm really impressed. I think the name is very... Uh, very on spot. Um, yeah, I have a lot of ideas. So you said that you can create both websites and presentations. Does it mean that uh, you have to maybe export that, uh, build, have a build process, or uh, is it working straight away as you, as you code along? Well, the best part about this is it's using CSS animations. So technically, you can, if you have a look at the example, you can just write an HTML code and then render it. So the rendering engine is based out of CSS animations. You don't even need a build process when you're doing this. It just include that in the HTML and it runs off uh, as soon as you uh, deploy it to an instance. So it's just an HTML library. Awesome, also that looks amazing. And the code also looks very clean. A lot of times that I have been dealing, I don't know if you, Daniela, ever uh, work with uh, animations and stuff on um, on web pages, but most of the times you're dealing with complex frameworks and you have to write a lot of code, even just to, to achieve basic animations. Uh, so the code is not always readable. And presentations, that really important. So uh, yeah, I, I like the, the code that comes out of that. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I've used React animations before where you have to manipulate state to keep track of all the stuff, but in this example, you can clearly see that you've got some classes, you know, step, slide, title, and then you've got the X, Y, and I believe you also can get a Z axis that actually takes you deeper into the, the canvas. So I think it's cool. Shivam, maybe show us again that kind of depth that you can get with Impress just on, on the top level over there. Yes. So as we can see here, this is like in a, a flat plane. But then if you want to add uh, depth using a z-axis, you can have animations like these, which can zoom in and zoom out of the content and uh, really add the depth effect to it. I think this is pretty cool. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. This is amazing. Love that. Um, and it, yeah, I, I guess from a, in, in a nutshell, right, just to explain to the viewers out there today is that see this as a big canvas and you are a camera and your job is to move the camera around in intuitive ways to kind of present your work and you can use this for websites all sorts of cool things um marco just on the top of your head what could you use this for i think that first of all landing pages for presenting maybe products or stuff like that this might be really cool uh, as an option it's uh uh, engaging it's uh, really dynamic so I love the the, um, the results and also maybe when doing presentations for clients uh, live so you know um, most of the time you're uh, just presenting with videos or um, yeah maybe a keynote or stuff like that but 
most of the times the the experience is not so so good. Uh, it really depends on how much effort you put in it, but achieving great results it's not always the easiest thing in the world. Uh, this tool looks amazing. I have a question for Shivam, if I may. Uh, so um, one thing that I was trying to, to understand is how can you um, put the different slides in a specific order and maybe access them uh, like you would do with a normal presentation? Is that easy to do? Yeah, that's easy to do as well, Marco. Thanks for that question. It's a very good question. Uh, there are two things that you can do. Just because it's like a complete canvas, you drive the flow of the uh, the zoom in and zoom out of or the navigational flow for this particular view, right? Let's say you want to jump from this particular slide to the first slide on the very top left here, right? When you press the next arrow, it's going to zoom in. But let's say you start from a big infinite canvas and you decide to jump into a slide uh, which is this right to get that animation you just have to place that slide as a next sequential order in the html but then you can place the position of it uh, using data x and data y so you could place it anywhere in the canvas right so the order is determined by the order system here that defines the previous and the next slide but the position on the canvas is actually determined by using the x x y and z coordinates here so you could do all sort of fun animations where you could actually start off with one area and then actually jump on to the second area. And the transition is, uh, the camera transition is controlled by the library itself, which is super okay. fun. Okay, okay. so basically they are uh, taking advantage of the DOM structure in order to uh, understand where yeah. um, a slide is and also where, what's the order of the slide. That's really, really interesting and really clever as a solution like that love that yeah I, I believe you can also have a presentation view um shavam showed me like if you press p or control p or something you can actually drive that right so this is exactly like the presenter view that we have in powerpoint right you could also have some hidden notes here for the presenter and you can technically see the next slide here as well as soon as you press next the next slide comes into context so that the presenter knows what to talk about and there's a nice helper counter here as well that says how long you have been presenting for and what's the current time. Pretty cool. I think that's awesome. amazing. And yeah, so like I said, guys, go and check it out. I really hope you guys enjoyed having Marco and Shivam chatting with me today about this beautiful library. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, for everyone out there watching, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.